Crohn's disease is a type of inflammatory bowel disease, also known as IBD. It is a lifelong condition that causes parts of your digestive system, also known as your gastrointestinal tract, or GI tract for short, to become inflamed. With Crohn's disease, the inflammation can go right through the entire thickness of the intestinal wall. Crohn's disease can affect any part of your GI tract, including the mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, which includes the colon and rectum, or anus. However, it usually affects the very end of your small intestine or your large intestine. Although no one knows what causes Crohn's disease, researchers think it is likely an interaction between your genes, your immune system, and something in the environment. Your immune system usually protects you from foreign invaders, such as viruses and other organisms that make their way into your body by launching an attack called an immune response. In people with Crohn's disease, something causes your immune system to launch an attack within the GI tract that won't shut off. And because the attack goes on, it causes the walls of the GI tract to become inflamed and the symptoms of Crohn's to appear. Your GI tract is there to help your body absorb water, vitamins, and minerals from the foods you eat and drink. As the lining of the intestine becomes inflamed, it affects its ability to absorb water and process certain nutrients, resulting in diarrhea, and in some cases, weight loss and vitamin deficiencies. Restoring and maintaining good nutrition is a key principle in the management of Crohn's. Since everyone with Crohn's is different, the best diet is one that meets your individual nutritional needs while helping you better manage your symptoms. Be sure to work with your doctor or dietitian to identify your nutritional needs and to create a diet that works for you. The most common symptoms of Crohn's disease include abdominal pain and frequent diarrhea, which often contains mucus or blood, and fatigue. Together, these symptoms may result in a loss of appetite and weight loss. Crohn's can even cause growth delays in children. These symptoms may differ from person to person and vary depending on where the disease is located within your body and how severe your Crohn's is. Your symptoms may even change over time. People with Crohn's often go through periods of remission when their disease is quiet with few or no symptoms, alternating with times when the disease flares or is active and causing symptoms. It is very important for you to keep track of these symptoms and to let your doctor know that you have been experiencing them. For reasons that are not entirely understood, some people develop symptoms that are related to the disease but affect other parts of the body, including redness, pain and itchiness in the eyes, joint pain and swelling, skin rashes, osteoporosis in the bones, and kidney stones. If you ever experience any of these symptoms, let your doctor know immediately. To get a better sense of your disease and to monitor it over time, your doctor will likely order a number of tests, including blood tests, stool tests, x-rays, and scans, such as CAT scans or MRIs, as well as scoping procedures, like a colonoscopy, to help them see what's going on inside your GI tract. It is important that you and your doctor continually monitor your disease to ensure that you remain in good health. While there are several medications available to help control your Crohn's disease, there is no one-size-fits-all treatment for everyone. Because each person's Crohn's disease is different, you and your doctor will work together to find a treatment specifically for you. Some medications may be better if your disease is mild, and some medications may be better if your disease is severe. In some situations, your doctor might even prescribe a combination of medications, which may include aminosalicylates, antibiotics, corticosteroids, immunomodulators, and biologic therapies. The medications differ in how they work inside the body and how you take them.
Medications can be pills, liquids, or suppositories, and some are injected or given as intravenous infusions or IV. Before taking any medications, be sure to discuss the pros and cons of all options, including medication side effects, with your doctor. Staying informed can help you better manage your Crohn's disease. While medications are typically the preferred initial treatment approach, there may be times where immediate surgery might be needed. For example, an abscess or pus buildup can occur in the abdomen. In other cases, there might be an intestinal blockage or perforation in the wall of the intestine. Another complication requiring surgery could be the formation of something called a fistula, which is an abnormal connection between the intestine and other parts of the body, like the abdominal cavity or another organ. In recent years, surgeons have developed minimally invasive techniques that allow for shorter recovery times. The decision to undergo surgery requires each patient to consider the risks and benefits and involves an open discussion with your healthcare team. There may be times along the way where you need help, and that's okay. The Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America is here to help. We offer education, support, disease tracking tools, and other resources that can help you effectively manage your disease. We also have an IBD Help Center with information specialists that are standing by on the phone or web to give you the guidance and support you need to stay healthy. To learn more, contact CCFA today by visiting www.ccfa.org.